everyone, welcome back to Earl Grey Books. I'm Ellie. I'm here today with my Fable Crate unboxing for February. Uh, we're in a different spot today. This uh, arrived just as I was doing some study for uni and I have classes for the whole rest of the day. So I wanted to just like slip in and do this now. So we're in here because it's way too hot to go into the other room and I'm feeling lazy. <laughs> um, and yes, things are a mess, ignore it. But here it is. So let's open it and um, let's see what we've got. Okay. So it's what we're looking at and this month the theme is myths and monsters. This is a gorgeous illustration. I think this is my favourite so far. It's beautiful. Okay, so let's move some of these things. I see a cord. Very strange. Ah, I dropped it. Okay, so we have our pin this month. These are always from Read the Right Act. And this is a little like playing card with a crown on and it is the Queen of Hearts. Um, and I just spoiled myself for the book. Whoops. This is inspired by Heartless by Marissa Meyer. <laughs> okay, um, we have a um, reusable straw. I'm gonna have to like rip this to open it. Um, Oh, that's so cute. It comes in a little container and it says eat, drink, read, repeat. I don't, whoops, something in here is possibly broken. I mean, sure, pretty cool. Um, I hate paper straws, so I guess Oh, there's no way I'm gonna remember this like I just do not have the memory skills to remember to put this in a bag um yes but it does look like maybe the box is broken because there's a random empty screw in there I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. I feel like it's not going to stay. I'm going to put that down. Okay. Oh, okay. So I think this cord is the thing. Like, I thought maybe it came with something, but I think it's just a cord. It says, charge your device with all the power of Poseidon. This Percy Jackson inspired blue lightning cord will repower your electronic essentials. I mean, it's got an iPhone on, so sure. But literally it's just got the like, you're not going to be able to see that, the like Poseidon thing and um, trident, that's what I'm looking for. I'm not super impressed by that, I have to be honest. I hope there's some other good stuff in here because a straw and a power cord aren't really what I signed up for. But here we go. We have this which is looks like almost like a pop sort of thing. 
Um, yes. Okay. I think a lot of this is going to get passed on this month because I need scissors. I literally cannot find where I put my scissors, so I've, I'm using my cat's nail clippers to open things at the moment. It's, it's fine. It cuts through tape, that's all that matters. They really tape this up quite well. Put on them. Okay, here we go. I think. So it is literally a pop vinyl. And this is uh, the man, the myth, the pop, the hero of the Witcher, Jarell of Rivia in pop form. You're welcome. Don't like the Witcher. Tried to read the book. Thought it was bad. Haven't seen the show. Not really interested in it. More stuff. So, so far this is not a great box. Um, oh, okay. This is... Ooh. Wolves may come across as monstrous, but the inhabitants of La Push are anything but. This Jacob Black inspired keyring will protect your house keys from vamps. I mean, it's literally just a keyring. It's a, it's nice, but it's literally just a picture of a wolf. Like, I don't know that I would call that Jacob Black inspired. It's just a wolf. But, um, anyway, it's cute. Um, I quite like wolves. Do I need another key ring on my keys? Probably not. Will I put it on there anyway? Quite possibly. At least, yeah, there's something. Okay. Here we have a little tin sign that says, I'm not really good with impulse control. And this is the World of Vampire Academy. It's full, it's full of vampire myths and monsters in the forms of Oh, man, I'm not going to say the names because, like, I've read this series multiple times and I still don't really know how to pronounce anything but Dampire. And that's possibly wrong. But this says, channel your inner Rose Hathaway with this VA inspired, inspired tin sign. One of my favorite series of all time. So, quite happy to have this. And it's, I like a good decor item. Um, speaking of which, our next and I think last one is um, our next flag. This is Fly Your Flag for the Slayer of the Middengard Worm and Liberator of Monsters of the Library, Feyre Archeron. Uh, this Akatire. Akata, I can't read today. Heroine herself is our inspiration for the next flag in our collection. We talked about before that I'm not a big fan of those series by Sarah J. Mars, but I already have the first banner and I really like it. So, yes, this is pretty. Let me go back a little bit. What does it say? It says, uh, night caught there and the quote is to the stars who listen and the dreams that are answered and then down the bottom it says there are Archeron uh, I wonder if because the first one is from Throne of Glass and it has that character's name on it. Um, I wonder if they're gonna, but 
I think there's four in the series and there's only three Sarah Mouse series, right? Like there's Throne of Glass, there's Akatar, and there's Crescent City. <laughs> I forgot the name of that one and that is the only one I like. So I wonder if maybe that, I don't really know what, I'm just going to put this on my wall in a second anyway. Um, so yes. I'm, I'm excited. I was so ready for the next one um, of the banners. So excited about that. And um, I am excited about this book. I already bought it though. And like this is way prettier, but like what do I do with that one that I bought? I guess maybe I could return it. Oh, I don't know. Um, here we are, anyway, it is only a monster by Vanessa, uh, Len, I got distracted, it's very, very beautiful, like, it's stunning, I think this is my favourite cover that we've had so far, I just love that it's simple, but, like, gorgeous, um, Oh, there's no, there's no sign book play this one. Okay, sad. Um, there is still a little letter. So Vanessa is a Melbourne based author. Um, it says, dear Fable Crate reader, only a monster is my first novel and I'm so delighted to be able to share it with you in this beautiful edition. This book is told from a monster girl's point of view and it was inspired by that feeling when the hero of the story isn't necessarily the hero of your story. Inside these pages you'll find a hidden world of monsters, star-crossed soulmates, ruthless monster boys, a heist in a monster court, and a cute dog named Frankie. I hope you enjoy your time in the world of monsters. Love, Vanessa. So, like I said, I had already bought this one so obviously I was very excited for it anyway and um yes this is beautiful like it's got the like stained um black um edges it says on here it features sprayed edges and a stunning god embossed dust jacket I assume they made gold embossed. Um, very simple underneath, just plain black with the gold. And um, it's not double sided at all, which is different for Fable Crate. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, I was already super excited about this one. I guess I just have to work out what I'm going to do with that copy that I've already bought. Um, but yes, so let's go back through and I'll give my opinions now that I've seen everything. So book, super excited, gorgeous, definitely going to read it. Slip it back in there and take a quick sip of tea. Yes, I'm still using a Christmas mug, don't judge me. Okay. Flag. Love it. I love this colour as well. Like the it, you now it's stuck to me. Um the first one is like a light blue and um yes. I love this colour. It's stunning. It's like a it's like a darkish blue, but it also kind of has like a purplish tint to it. I don't know that it's really showing up on camera quite how pretty it is but yes very excited about this it is gonna go on my wall why can't I fold it um momentarily I'm gonna put you back over there um nope that's just an empty package uh the tin thing like I said love VA very much hoping to reread it this month so that's cool and um i mean it's not wrong 
like I am kind of also quite bad at impulse control so <laughs> that works um now Jacob Black keyring again very little inspiration by Twilight really in my opinion but it's still cute you know like a good wolf like I said the pin is gorgeous I haven't read Heartless probably will never read it but um I feel like it's one of those things that you could no one's gonna know what this is from so I could just wear it and quite happy so and then yeah the other things the straws or the straw which it's kind of cool and I'll keep it but the vast yeah, the vast <laughs> the chance of me remembering to use this more than like once um is very low but I will put it in my bag and then probably promptly forget about it um I think this is incredible like I think the dedication to this is in just like amazing what a cool thing to get like I said don't like the witcher don't watch it um but I think it's cool and yeah I'm gonna pass it on to Angel or to someone else who does enjoy it and <laughs> I'm not gonna lie this is a piece of shit like this isn't what I what I wanted from a book box I'm not gonna lie um <laughs> Maybe that sounds mean, but just like, it's, it's just a cord. It's a cord that they've put a small little symbol on and that's it. Like that's the best Percy Jackson related thing that you could get. I don't know, but I guess it's, it's really just those like, I guess it's half and half. I liked half the stuff. I didn't like half of the other stuff but I'm excited about the book which is the main reason that I do buy this box and this is still stunning so that's that and um, that's the end of today's video I will catch you all in the next one I'm gonna go back to studying before class and drinking my Christmas mug tea but I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.